Hi, everyone. Today the upgrade is a Cadillac Car Central Control. This is the full package content of this product. This is a disassembly tool. Please see what you need to prepare. First, we remove the leather trim on both sides. Then unscrew the two screws here. Now we remove the screws on both sides of the air conditioner button. Here we remove the panel at the top of the original car screen. Unscrew the two screws securing the original car screen. Here we loosen the panel of the shift handle. Then step on the brake, pull the shifter to D, and take out the whole panel. Then unscrew the two screws. Though. At this time, take out the entire original car screen, then pull the gear handle back to the people's position to park, and then release the brake. Here we unplug all the plugs on the back of the original car screen. After unplugging, we remove the brackets on both sides of the original car screen. Here we will match the full metal brackets to the back of the new product. Then install the removed parts on both sides to the new product. It looks like the installation is complete. We connect the matching wire to the back of the new product. Here we connect the silver protocol box with the original car plug, and then connect with our new product power card. This is the camera cable and a serial cable, we will connect them. This is the AUX cable. We connect its red and white plugs to the RCA cable. Finally, we plug the black end of the power cord into the back of the new host, and then connect the other end to the original car plug. Here we still step on the brake and pull the gear lever back to the deposition to install the new product. Then we fix it with screws. Refasten the top two screws as well. Once fixed, we put the cover back on. Here we refix the two screws of the gear handle panel. Insert the other end of AUX into the AUX hole. Reinstall the trim and you're done. The installation is complete, and now the air conditioner is unavailable. We need to debug the protocol first. We enter the factory settings and select the corresponding name, according to the model year of the car to confirm. After the update is complete, you can control the air conditioner of the original car on the touch screen. Of course, now your new car radio still has no sound. You have to use the AUX input to select the sound in the dashboard trip computer. Then now you can use your new car radio to play music and adjust the sound quality of your car horn.
It's still perfect if your car has a backup camera and is a bigger screen than before. You can also watch a movie during your break. On weekends, you can use map navigation to go anywhere. You can connect to Bluetooth to make calls and listen to music on your phone. You can use Google search. You can also use wireless CarPlay. You can use voice operations, make calls, listen to music, use maps to navigate, and the functions are very rich. In addition, its version is very advanced with a particularly large memory. Okay, that's all for the video. Thank you for watching.